today we groomed the dogs and we recorded for you and I want to show you more or, less, more or less what we do and give you some tips what to do when you have this type of dogs with double coat hair because when we first got Venus we didn't have an idea how to groom her and we spent a lot of time and a lot of money taking her to the groomers and she have like mixed experience with groomers she ended up hating it because one time they cut her paw so we stopped grooming her at the groomers and we start doing it at home so I want to give you some of the tips that we have catch up through the years and with the experience that we have been gaining having two giant hairy dogs so the first thing is figure out what is a treat that they like in our case we use different treats like greenies we use jerky, jerky uh, chicken jerky or we also use some organic treats I will put an image of the treat that we were giving them so you could see which one it was but you choose the treat that is better for your dog the one that they really go for it like that they associate grooming and brushing with a good experience another thing is you will see we use a blower the canine to a blower for blowing their coat we don't do that step every week we use that tool just when they are shedding Malamutes shed twice a year they have a winter coat and a summer coat and when they're shedding they shed for real they blow all their coat and it's crazy so we use the blower to help us to get all the heavy shed and then we use the brush to get the rest you will see in more detail all the things I'm saying now. The brush that we use is from Ellen and we got it at PetSmart. I will put also the in the description down below, which is the comb that we use. That's the one I we found is the best for getting the undercoats and their under, uh, under level because you will see they have two different types of hair. One that is like more fussy and that one is the one that is really really hard to get out that's the one that we use the blower to get out the most but when you're using the comb you have to like move the hairs to be able to get right in there because the fussy part it gets a little bit overwhelming when you don't when you're not used to to do it So, when we first got Venus, um, we were pretty new to the intense shedding that Malamutes do, um, that they shed all their hair. Uh, so we started taking her to the groomer, and the owner of the groomer that we were going to, he was like fascinated with her, and he was like always telling us that he did competition dogs, 
something like that, and that um, we were doing it wrong because we were like, we would always just pass the brush kind of like this. Um, but he said to uh, take out the intense hair that's under. You can't pass it like this. He said to pull the hair um, front and then kind of like just pass it like this. And this way, you really get to that undercoat. <laughs> she likes it. <laughs> So that you can kind of see that fuzz right there. And you just get little by little. And don't hold here too tight because then you won't actually pull the hair. You just kind of like pull it like that. And the guy told us that this was like the only way to really, you know, straighten out all the knots because one of the things that's uh, bad for any dog really is for their hair to get like matted. Um, then pretty much the only thing you can really do if it's really matted is just shave them. Um, so he says that was the way to really get all the all the hair straightened out and get whatever is left under out. Um, to make this a good uh, experience, always give your dog treats. So I think just you know, recognize that the brush means it's gonna be a good time. You're gonna get treats, you're gonna get rewards. No love getting brushes. Um, and I would recommend probably, maybe depending on what kind of dog you have or what kind of hair they have, doing it like once a week. That way you prevent it from getting matted. Um, and it's just easier, because it just sucks to wait like so long and then wait till the hair is like really, really intense and you're, you know, uh, spending so much time brushing the hair. And you do it a week here um, and there, you'll, you won't spend so much time. So just kind of like pass it right on top and it'll be fine. And something else to keep in mind, um, you'll see it in, you know, uh, in the video uh, that we use the blower. Uh, we only use that if we bathe them to dry them up. It's just way easier. And to take out the hairs, we, we don't use that every week. That's just when they're like shedding. Like Apollo is shedding like pretty intense. Venus is like barely shedding. This is like all that came out of her. Um, we'll just use that to take out like the big stuff. And then we'll finish it off with the brush. Apollo is trying to steal the bag behind you. You bring your teeth? <laughs> we groom our dogs if you have any question please put it in the description down below or you could dm us on instagram if you have any suggestion how we could improve also leave it in the description down below we would love to get like a new brush if there's something better than what we use we are willing to try new brushes or new techniques so leave it down there see you in the next one bye Oh, 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 oh,